Made it across, stowed the raft. We got Austin, Jesse, he pulled the tag. We're going on the big sheep hunt. Any ram, and my brother in law Joe. All right, we should have a fun trip. All right, getting ready for the, the up uphill spot, a little more than two miles into it. And we got off the river now, and now we're Heading up, don't see a lot of sign of people. Those Amanita muscara fly agaric. Those are some pretty mushrooms, but uh, pretty poisonous, and they're also hallucinogenic. <sighs> Trail's getting a little steeper, huh? It's hurting. Well, if we're going through this, just slow and steady up the hill. That's how you conserve your energy for when you crest it. I'm getting some good drippage coming off my nose. Whew. Whew. This isn't even the steep stuff. This is just trail to camp. Getting some water at the creek with the filter. Resting up for the next tall. Well, we're about four miles in. Four miles in, two or three to go. And Joe's getting the spot and scope. We just popped out of the pucker brush down there and uh, we see two white animals up there. Not sure if they're goats or sheep, but we're gonna check it out before they pop over the edge because they are, they are way up there. You can see them. Well, those were goats, so. It's all right, we didn't want to go up that high anyways. Keep heading in deeper. Well, we got the tents all situated. My feet are killing me. Everybody's feet are killing them. It's a long hike with a 60 or 70 pound pack on your back. A little bug there. That's a no -see -um. They bite and suck your blood. They're really, really teeny. I hate them. Well, we're up and going a little bit later than we were planning, but Jesse's out there picking blueberries. They are thick through here, super thick. Yep, nice day. Gonna go get us a sheep, go get Jesse a sheep the tags. Tons of berries here. Oh. Yeah, I think we spooked him pretty good. A little bull. Look at that down here. There's a cow and she's not too happy. I don't know, 
if she's convinced. She might be liking what Jake's got going on. She did not like it. One more lap, she's wondering where everybody was. I don't know that we're going to get across this. It's pretty swollen. Well, let's hope the sheep are on this side. We find a spot to cross the sheep, though, if we I think that might keep us from going up over the top. Yeah, it's definitely putting it in there. Well, we found some rams. What do you think, Jesse? Way, way up there. So I don't think you can even see them. Maybe on the big screen you could see them right in the center of the video right now. And they, they're heading up over that other side. But on another note, there's a black bear down here too that we spotted, so that's cool. Well, we're here look, waiting for this bear to pop back out. Jesse spotted a bunch of ewes and lambs up there. There might be a half curl. There's a half curl ram up there. Half curl ram up there too. So we could shoot that, but that's a little on the small side of what we wanted to do. So we're thinking maybe tomorrow we'll go up and above the glacier there. And uh, right up there, you can see them right up in there. Free sheep. Also use the lambs. So anyways, we're heading back to camp. It was a little bit too late in the day. To, to really get a good good stock on those sheep but so we're gonna go back to camp and maybe try up there again tomorrow well we made it back to camp and uh, we're gonna go put the big assault in here tomorrow Hopefully the weather holds like it was today. It was a great day for hunting. Not too hot, but still warm enough. I guess it was just a little too hot, but but pretty good. No rain. Rained last night. Uh, if it doesn't rain tonight and it stays dry, that would be ideal. I'm getting some wood for a fire. The sheep are far enough up the valley that we can actually have a fire here and not risk spooking them. So that's what we're going to do. Can we knock it down? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here it goes. I feel like a bear. Sometimes you feel like a bear. Firewood. Ants. Oof. Ants got it. I knocked it down. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. There's that kale soup. Come right down with got that. some hot water in there. Kale from our garden. Used our freeze dryer. We'll see how it's going to work. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to let these guys try it. Everybody's got different bags. <laughs> because that's what we're using for her bowls Kale. for this soup but soup. but it got raving reviews from everybody around the fire excellent oh, yeah. excellent cooked like a mountain house yep pretty dang hard to beat yep could eat mm. <laughs> yum good soup <laughs> done. good soup i should probably see if we can all right everybody's up and ready to go we're making a big push today up the valley we got to get one got to get them they're up there four four of them barely make them out 
when the scope's all the way on them. See you get up there. And we gotta cross. I'm not looking to cross forward to cross in that dang creek. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a filling up with water here. Putting the final final touches on. And it comes right out of the ground right here. Pretty sweet. Got a long trek to go up in there. Woo. All right. Now I need to steal water from some folks. Don't you see optics, man? Nothing. I know you see something up there. Oh, I see one, two, three rams. I'm trying to put my eyes on. It's starting to rain. I'm gonna have some lunch here. But there's definitely some big rams up there. Yeah. Just a matter of getting to them. That's why it's up there. A little foggy up there. Okay, guys. These guys are a little bit out of our skill level, I think. Even though this ram's bigger. We've got a mini ram tag. Yes, he does. We're going to go for this ram. He's right up in there. I don't know if you can see him right now. Can you see him, Joe? Yep, I got my eyes on him. He's making his way down. He's making his way down. So, we're gonna go for him because we can get up that chute and hopefully stay out of sight, so. That's the hope. It's a little bit easier. We want a higher chance of being successful. It's gonna be a problem. But we've already walked up a quarter mile, half mile of creek, and it is just flowing too fast for us to cross safely so far. Up here, there's a pretty good split I'm looking at. I'm hoping we can make it across. Me and Jesse are doing the final assault. Our bags are as light as we can muster. And we're heading up into the, after this sheep finally braided out enough here. I think we're going to be able to do it. You got it! That was, that was actually more of a challenge than it looked. Yeah. So we're acting like we just had to find a spot to cross the river for that sheep walking back down uh, we got to get out of his sight without him being suspicious of us how bad do you want it well Jesse and Jacob are somewhere out there me and uh, Joe are kind of hanging out under here trying to hold her down I hope those boys are doing all right it's not looking too good out there. Pretty bad rain. Well, it started raining, so it's overheat time. And uh, we got a ways up to go. Way up into those crags. guys there he is that's how sheep hunting goes a lot of times he knows we're here we got one more day you probably can smell us too huh he's smart when I was when I first when I first noticed he spotted me I kind of tucked back behind here you go up, stop, look. Go up, stop, look. To get a so he was down lower, huh? Trying to get a better like, yeah. like 500, 400 yards away, huh? How close was he when you first saw him? Uh, so you, you see, like, kind of blowing into the right, but he's gravelly. Yeah. Uh, 
that big rock kind of in the back there. Yeah. Look at my rain. It's a ways down. Oh, let me take a look up here and see if it looks worthwhile. One more day for sheep. Well, I hope you had a good time. Even if we don't get anything, look at this. It comes all the way around. We're so high up. Wow. I'm like outside of my comfort zone right now. <laughs> This is so, you can't even see. You don't even know how this is like, coming down this is so bad. It's like, if you're afraid of heights, you wouldn't be able to do it. I'd petrify you. And I'm a little afraid of heights, just a little. Bump that sucker down. Yeah, spin it. There it goes. That could be you or me. Dang! Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's almost worth going up there for that. Almost. Up here, the weather rolls in. One second, and the next, look at this fog rolling in. Oh, I feel a few drops. It's going to lift off and give us a little sprinkle. Glad to be back on what feels solid ground again. Woo, beautiful. This thing took us, uh, took us half a mile of hiking just to get to a spot. Right here. You got it. That'll sweep ya. That'll sweep the leg, man. Barely braided there. I got a little more water in my boots. Dang, that took a lot of time to find a spot to cross when that water came up. Let's go get them. Yeah. <laughs> Another day. Yeah. <laughs> we should have brought our tents up here, I guess. Huh? No flat spots. No flat spots. Those guys were saying maybe they could land a plane in here. We're heading down to the watering hole. Comes right out of the mountain. Love to see a blackbird in there. Coming right out of the ground. We're drinking it right like this. The nectar Tasty. of the gods. Well, we didn't quite give ourselves enough time. Packing up camp. The weather, we could have hunted today, but it's pretty foggy and socked in, so it's wet and rainy. And these guys got a like a five hour drive back home, so might as well have a little bit of extra time in there. Maybe we'll see a bear on the way out, but it was a good hunt. Well, I mean, we got a good stock on a sheep, but, but we saw a lot of animals and a good time was had by all, so that's good. Well, we're off the mountain, huh? Couple more miles to the raft. Pack's not any lighter. Well, if we would have got something, it would have been a lot heavier. We made it down. Down to the river, got to cross back. The last turtle. Oh, man, wore out. Sheep hunting's hard work, the pinnacle of hunting. Woof. Come on, you can do it. They may just have to walk it across that other section. Hey. 
Here we go, paddle hard. Oh no. <laughs> The biggest thing we learned from this hunt is that you really need to be camping up in the area where the sheep are. We wasted so much time hiking back up to where the sheep were in the valley when we could have camped up above the tree line and pursued them every morning early. It takes most of the day to get up to where the sheep are. So you really need to allocate a lot of time for your sheep hunt. Uh, four days was not quite enough. Thanks for coming along with us on our hunt. Check out some of our other hunting videos on our channel. The links will be in the description. We'll see you next time.